Jupyter Notebook Tutorial Open Account Preferences from the right sidebar menu Scroll down to RESTful API Tokens section and click on Generate New Token button This will generate an authentication token that we will later use to connect to RESTful API Save account ID and authentication token in a secure place and close the modal. Now open Dropbox from the left sidebar menu to upload files. First upload settings file which contains RESTful API variables from Exabyte API examples repository. Then upload get materials by formula I Python notebook that we will later run inside Jupyter environment. The content of notebook can be visualized by clicking on the preview action. Close the notebook and navigate to the job designer page to create a Jupyter job. Then, open the workflow tab, and choose the Jupyter notebook workflow by selecting it in the list. The Jupyter notebook environment can be customized by adjusting configure.sh input file. Now close the unit and navigate to Compute tab, and set Compute Configuration. Then, set the name for the job. Here, we call it, Jupyter Notebook Environment. Next, save the job. It can then be selected and submitted to the Compute queue, for execution. Wait for the job to become active and then open it. Then open Notebook Unit to access Jupyter Notebook and Jupyter Lab. As it can be seen inside the output, the environment is being created. Wait for Jupyter Notebook to start, and then click on the Notebook tab. This will take you to Jupyter Notebook page. Open Settings file and replace Account ID and Authentication token with parameters obtained at the beginning of this tutorial. Then save the settings, close the file and open Get Materials by Formula I Python Notebook. To run the notebook, open Cell menu and click on Run All. This will execute the notebook in which we connect to RESTful API and retrieve a list of materials. Now let's save and checkpoint the notebook and navigate to Jupyter Unit to try Jupyter Lab. Clicking on the Lab tab takes you to the Jupyter Lab page which provide an intuitive interface to work with notebooks. Let's go back to Jupyter Notebook page by clicking on Launch Classic Notebook from the Help menu. Here we can stop the notebook when it is no longer needed by clicking on Quit button. When the notebook is stopped, the job status is changed to Finished. Close the notebook unit and navigates to Files tab. Copies of modified IPython notebooks are saved inside Checkpoints folder at the time notebooks are saved. The content of the notebook can be examined by clicking on the preview action. Let's close the notebook and navigate to Dropbox Explorer in where the final version of the notebook can be accessed. This completes the present tutorial.